Well, good morning. Today is Friday, October 25th. We're trying yet again. I figured out a different way. I folded up some uh, 3x5 cards and put it in the vent. So you don't seem to be rocking as much. So we'll see if this works. I am determined. I'm telling you, I am determined. Um, we do have birthdays. We have lots of birthdays. Today is Angela, my life. Today's Angela's birthday, so she gets a song. Yay, Angela. I haven't seen her on videos lately, though. So hopefully she's watching and just not filming. But Angela, you get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Angela. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Not to be mistaken for Angela the Brat over at Smack Vision. But, nonetheless, it's still Angela, my life's birthday. It's also Charlene Bordelone. I know I'm messing up your last name, Charlene. But today's her 64th birthday, I think she said. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Charlene. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And it's also her sister Sherry's birthday today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sherry. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. I think her best present today would be that she's doing well because she's the one that had the surgery on Monday. But uh, as far as I know, the surgery went well. Also, it is... Um, Melissa Collins, today's her 50th birthday, and she made a vow that she was going to lose 50 pounds by the time she was 50, and she lost 52 pounds, so she even cushioned it with an extra two pounds. That is a good birthday present, too, to herself, a great birthday present to herself. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Melissa. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. So many birthdays today. Some days you don't have any, and then other days they're just everywhere. I did want to offer my condolences to Nina over at her channel name is Billy Norris. Uh, her mother passed away, I think, yesterday. So I do send my condolences. I'm really sorry. I don't think she has a channel, but, uh, and I'm sure she's not watching, but. Maybe when she goes back to watch and she'll see this. But you are my thoughts and prayers, and I said some extra prayers for your mother. So our swift journey into heaven. Hopefully she's not Catholic and has to make a pit stop at purgatory. <laughs> but I thought I don't know. They say that there's no uh, purgatory anymore. Just like there was no Saint Christopher. So you know what? All those years he wasn't really protecting us when we were driving and on our journeys and stuff. I don't, I don't understand my religion sometimes. I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I just kind of... But I think that's true. You have to question. It's just part of life. You just have to question. You're not supposed to accept anything at face value. But uh, as I said, don't stand behind me in line because I got lots of questions. I just really do. Um, Sue Ramey had asked me that the next time I do a tag or a collab or something to include Classically Molly. I might used to watch her. I don't know why I stopped. Isn't she? I could be wrong. But I think she's the one that was going to get married and then she was doing her videos before she got married. I think. But anyway, I'm going to look her up and if I can find her, I'll put a link to her channel down below. So go over there and tell her I sent you. Um, on Sue Rainey's recommendation. Because I... I haven't watched her in a long time, I'll be honest. I really haven't. But, you know, I'll look. I'll look. And Sparkling Susan! I miss giggles, don't you, Susan? We miss giggles. Um, anyway, everybody's got to take their own path. Everybody's got to take their own journey. So, you know, who knows? One day, one day maybe she'll come back. I don't know. We don't know. But anyway, she said that she's joining my kids on the uh, worried about me driving. I really, where I live, there's not really a lot of traffic, so I don't have to, um, well, like, you know, anytime you're driving, you're supposed to concentrate, but it's not like, 
main highways and stuff that I have to give on. Mine, mine are mostly like side streets and stuff, so it's just, uh, not side streets, but side roads, you know, they're just not major thoroughfares. Because you notice that whenever I'm going to get on the expressway, I always stop filming because that's a major thoroughfare. And uh, the way they drive on the expressways around here, and on we have one particular one, 696, it's like the Audubon. Because, uh, oh my gosh, there's nobody here. I'm sure there's got to be swim. Because I'm getting a spot in the front row. Not that you're supposed to get that when you go to the gym. But, but I did, and I will take it because um, I don't the fact that I can just pull in. I didn't have to parallel park. I didn't have to break any laws. I didn't have to break any rules or break any promises. Uh, Sandy Riley. Um, she's from Chicago. Chicago. That title of town. That title of town. She suggested the Amazon car mount. I've seen that uh, by WeatherTech. That you put it in the cup holder and you bring it up. But I'm thinking that with the way my roads are that it would shake too much. That's my thought. Uh, 1952 Trouble stopped going to Weight Watchers, WW, Freestyle, whatever you want to call it. She gained a little bit of weight while she was gone. And then she decided she was going to go back. And her first week weigh-in, she put the brat to shame because she lost 8.6 pounds. That's really good. It, it can be done if you follow the program. It really can. And Mary Jane let me know her husband's name was Bob. So, Bob, you get an anniversary song. Mary Jane's not the only one that celebrated 55 years. You did, too. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Bob. Now you're not unknown. Because yesterday you were like the unknown soldier. Nobody, nobody knew who you were. But... Okay, we're here. This is what I did. I folded these up and put them on the vent. So hopefully that worked. I will know when I do my editing process. Um, I'm going to go to my class, which I'm a, it's, I'm a little bit late again for today. Um, I was on the phone this morning with different people. So that kind of put me behind. And then um, I do feel kind of bloated a little bit because of the uh, outback last night. But... Uh, I'm going to drink lots, lots of water today. This is 24 ounces. I've already drank 16 before I left the house. I'm going to drink this 24 before I go for my walk. When I get back from my walk, I'm going to drink another 32 ounces and then drink water all day long. Because I need to flush out all that sodium. Okay, let's go work out. Stop holding me back. Because I'm looking forward to this. I really am. Because you know what? Jim went to work early this morning. I had to get up early anyhow. I had to get up at 6 to bring Kylie over to get her bus. And then I got back in bed, but I couldn't fall back to sleep. I was just tossing and turning. So I played games on my phone, went on the internet, read some news stories, answered the phone, lost track of time. Now we're here. Stop babbling. Let's get moving. I felt like I was in an episode of Cocoon. <laughs> I was looking around at uh, all of the people in the pool, and they're all old like me. <laughs> And so it just reminded me of the movie Cocoon when they all went and broke into the house next door. And I've decided it's time to go buy a new bathing suit. <laughs> because, well, the, there's probably about eight men that come. And they have their own little clusters of, <coughs> well, maybe nine. They have their own little clusters of three. And they talk about stuff. I don't know what they talk about. Sports and stuff like that. But they always stay in the deeper end. I mean, you can stand up, but it's in the deeper end. And then the old women like me, we're in the water walking area, so we're in the shallower end. And these two men kept drifting over into the shallow end, and they kept getting in my way, and I couldn't figure out why. And it wasn't until I got to the end, and I went to make my turn, that I felt a little breeze. My boobala <laughs> was hanging out. I was giving a free show, a peep show. They didn't even have to peep. It was right out there in the open. So I had to pull it up and tie it onto the thing and then it was just it was just funny. And then uh, one lady, Jackie, she come over and she said, what are you doing with your suit? And I said, you didn't see me exposed? And she said, no. And I go, well, I would hope so that if somebody saw me, they would have let me know before I gave a peep show for free. So I did it. And then after that, they went back to the deep end. See, no matter what your age. <laughs> just So I'm going to be looking online to find a bathing suit today when I get home. But... 
All right, let's head on home. I'm gonna turn you off because I'm gonna listen to some music and then I'm gonna go for my walk. And then when I get home after I get back from my walk, constantly drinking water today because that's my for the day is water. I'm going to um, bring in all the cushions from my um, outdoor patio furniture and we put it on the deck so that the weather doesn't hit it as much from the snow and stuff like that. We don't bring it in. We don't. Uh, the shed has bikes in it now, so we don't have room in the shed for it. And uh, it's just too much work to bring it up and down into the basement. So anyway, somebody's looking at me and they're thinking, who is she talking to? I wonder who she's talking to. He's like rubbing his, he's like a Santa Claus. He looks like Santa Claus. Anyway, soon enough, soon enough Santa will be here. Okay, let's go. See you uh, after my walk. Well, I'm back. That was a nice refreshing walk. Didn't see anybody out. I was all alone. Saw a cat. That was it. Um, I'm going to go drink some water and then I'm going to head on into the backyard. I did start trimming down those daylilies. I did a couple on the side of the house. A little bit each day. I don't want to. I, I just bend over because I can't kneel and it's harder. But they'll get done before the first frost although we've had a frost before the first snow on halloween so okay let's go drink some water well i was watching videos and jones pointed plate uh, informed all of us that she's within 36 subscribers to reaching her 5,000 subscribers i think she said in 10 months that's really good i'm really i'm really proud of that that's really amazing but um i told her i'd share her link to her channel so you can go over there and, and subscribe so she can hit that five thousand this weekend wouldn't that be a great present for her so um check in the description box below click on her channel and go over there and subscribe she does uh, she doesn't video on tuesdays i think it is or is it wednesdays i think it's tuesdays because she has her Weight Watcher meeting on Tuesdays, but uh, she does a lot of recipes. She does a lot of wheel, uh, wheel planning, meal planning, and um, just a little day in the life of, of hers. And uh, she's got a really interesting channel, so go check her out. Well, I've been working ever since I got back from my walk. I was in the yard. I was, um, I don't know what you call it. You know, like when you're getting the plants ready for winter and you're cutting them down to the nubs. <laughs> gardening <laughs> I guess that's the word gardening so I've been gardening most of the day and then I um, rearranged our deck put the covers and everything on our furniture brought the cushions um, downstairs and then they came and blew out our the guy that does our sprinklers came and blew out our sprinklers and I just did two loads of I did all the summer bathing suits I washed the bathing suits and the towels and put them away and then Jim walked in the door and he said, let's go to the show. <laughs> I said, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So I wolfed down an egg and a half a bagel with some laughing cow cheese and I had a glass of diet um, cranberry juice. So we're on our way to see the current war, which is about the uh, Thomas Edison and Nikolai Tesla. And all them guys, how they fought to get the, and Westinghouse, whatever. I'll let you know how we like the movie. But there's Jim. He put air in my tires because I had the uh, check check tire gauge light on my car. So Jim was the nice guy and he went and put it all in for me. So. He had to use my tire gauge because yours is for shit. He doesn't like my tire gauge. Oh no, it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, well then i got to throw it away and get a new one. All right, talk to you guys after the show. Okay, we just saw The Current War with Benedict Cumberbunch and Michael Shannon. What'd you think, Jim? Crap. It wasn't any good. <laughs> but, teach their own. It was just too, uh, I thought it jumped around too much. Way too technical. Yeah, it was really technical. Okay. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight. But first I wanted to share, um, Cat from Cat on Point shared um, one of her meals, colorful plates, and I wanted to share it right now. So here you go. We'll look at this one. And then I'm just going to go to my meeting tomorrow. 
I know I didn't show you any of my food today. I had, before we went to the show, I had an egg and some raspberries and a half of a Blender's bagel with some cre uh, laughing cow cheese on it with a glass of uh, diet cranberry juice. Didn't have anything at the show. It was such a bad movie. <laughs> it just really was. It was Jim picked it. It was his pick. Um, and then um, when I got home, I made a tuna sandwich. I had tuna fish with some celery with a tablespoon of Miracle Whip on an extreme wellness wrap, a cheese stick, a sugar-free pudding, and some pretzels, and uh, an iced tea. And then Danny came over with Oliver. We watched The Black Knight with Martin Lawrence from 2001. <laughs> It was a cute movie. We've seen it before, but we watched it again. Oliver was enjoying it, so we watched it with him. And now it's well, after nine, and I'm going to close up my video. Um, I'm not really very optimistic about losing a pound tomorrow. Uh, I did have a couple days where I really was hungry. I think, like a lot of you said, that I'm exercising more, so obviously I'm hungrier. But I'm, the point of the exercising is so that I'd lose the weight, not replace the calories with more you know, I want to burn the calories, not replace the calories that I burned. And then um, I thoroughly enjoyed my dinner last night, and it was well worth, not a gain, but if I just stayed like maybe a 0.4 or 0.5 loss, that would be good. But uh, even if I stay the same, I consider that a victory. I really will. But um, no plans for the weekend. Christy's not coming over this weekend because... Uh, Aaron's side of the family is getting together carving pumpkins on Sunday, so they're going to do that on Sunday. And Jim's working at his club tomorrow. So eh, just try to catch up on videos and things like that. So um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, hopefully I've figured out how my mount works a little better, I hope. I haven't edited it yet, so we'll see how it worked this morning. It didn't seem to bounce as much, but we will see. And then... Um, that's it for done. So I will talk to you guys in the morning.